Today I'm going to show you how to use two hitches, a clove hitch and a rolling hitch. They're both related and they're both very useful on boats. The clove hitch is a very simple knot to tie and we all use it to tie fenders uh, overboard. We use uh, handrails or metal railings or lifelines. It's two turns. One, two. Make the clove hitch, make a full turn around the railing, continue in the same direction, pass over the first turn, and keep going, pass that working end under the second turn in the same direction, and pull it tight. If you don't keep an eye on clove hitches, they can work themselves loose over time. So a lot of people will put in an extra hitch, either around the railing itself, or around the standing part of the line. That gives you extra security. Once everything's secure, you're all set to hang your fender over the top sides. If you have an open-ended cylinder, uh, like a bollard on a dock, when you go to tie up, you can actually throw the clove hitch on because it's just two concentric half hitches. Throw on one, throw on the other in the same direction, clove hitch. A rolling hitch is really closely related to a clove hitch, but it's got a more specialized purpose. What it does is resist a sideways pull. You tie it pretty much the same way, but you make two full round turns around the stanchion, or in this case, this, this tube. Then cross over and put that last half hitch in. Tighten it up, and then it'll resist a lot of tension in, the, in that direction. But if you grab hold of the hitch itself, you can move it very easily and adjust it. Once you learn to tie a rolling hitch, you're going to find a million uses for it. When you're tying around a, a piece of line, you make your two round turns, try to cross over that first turn with the second on the inside, then cross over the outside and make your last hitch. You pull that up tight, and again, it's going to resist lateral pull really well. You're going to be able to adjust things like that, have a lot of fun with it. Two half hitches thrown on in the same direction. One, two.